Hey guys, before I start this video, um, I want to give a quick shout out to I Chris Show. I will have a link in the description over there. Um, he is an awesome guy. He has a lot. Of, he just had two so 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, he does a lot of app reviews. Um, I I watch him a lot. So go ahead and subscribe to him and um, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so today I will be telling you how to um, SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone without Wi-Fi. I will also tell you how to do it with Wi-Fi um, on 3.0 software. This is a little bit more complicated, but um, to make it work you must do this. Hopefully you have two computers, one that has iTunes on it, the newest one, because if you don't, um, you might want to, or you might want to try a couple other things. That this is as this is as much as I can do, so um I will switch to my screen now. Okay guys, so first thing you're gonna wanna do, um if you have iTunes eight point two, uh you're going to need to downgrade to the eight point two beta. Um if this is if you don't have Wi Fi and you need to do it through iTunnel because um the Apple support drivers do not work, so you need to do that and it should work um, and then what you need to do is on your iPod you need to install SBS settings from Cydia uh, you can find this just search it um, and once you do that um, you need to you need to um, slide you know slide your finger across the top on the taskbar there and that setting will come down. You need to press SSH until it turns green. Okay. I will connect to my iPod right now. Just wait a second guys. It's kind of deep in my pocket. I'm still working on VNC so just hold off on that guys. I just got a new intro so that's one of my big one of my big um, things that I really needed. So as you can see it does say camera connected which it says that when I um, connect my iPod and what you're going to do is after you've installed SPS settings you're going to slide on the taskbar make sure SSH is enabled which it is go ahead and open iTunnel shortcut to iTunnel and then open WinSCP and use 127.0.0.1 um, your pass, your username will be root, and your password will be alpine. And what do you know? It's there. Um, if you did not, if you haven't done that yet, you're gonna put your host name as one two seven point zero point zero point one. Um, your username is root. And your password as alpine. Um, you don't need any private key file. Make sure it's an SFTP and allow SCP fallback. And you're just going to go ahead and log in. Now before you do that, when that's all saved, once you put on all that stuff, you're going to want to do um, save. You're going to want to click. So let me just do this again. 7.0.0.1 Username root and password alpine um, make sure you aren't on catwalk guys and you're just going to do save um, and you can either choose to save password so you don't have to do that again I'm going to do that because I really hate typing in my password it says not recommended but I don't really care because it's always alpine so let's just do robs iPod and 
and there you have it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe.